Cosmos Ferry. We are on the 14th of October, 1863. And uh, we defeated uh, Thomas Cavalry Army under Knipe a couple of, a week ago or so uh, at Chattanooga and dro drove them out. And the way it looks right now is that we recaptured the gold mines here in the mountains. And uh, Athens is under Confederate control. Chattanooga turned very rapidly over to Ch Confederate control, yada yada. But Thomas Cavalry retreat. It looked like they were going to retreat over the river here to Bridgeport. They didn't. Seems like we're controlling everything. What I found here is if you, if you can get into the siege overlay and you hover over that bar where it says victory balance here, we have 94 to 6. Mm, over the arrow. It says it said 19 days until completion here somewhere. No, it doesn't. I can't get it to appear again. Okay, we have two sieges going on. One at Manassas Junction. Uh, there we have like 75,000 Union troops besieging Lee with only, I don't know, 35,000. So that's like heavily outnumbered. Two to one uh, at least, if not more. Although we have the artillery corps there, so we have... Uh, but Lee is suffering heavy losses up there. And uh, I'd rather finish this Chattanooga campaign in October as quickly as possible. Why can't I get it to say three weeks or 19 days remaining? Oh. You just have to trust my word. So I've decided to assault here again. Um, we are 30,000 to 80, 17, 18,000. So it's almost two to one odds. And they should have a bit of low morale, I hope, after the last battle. I don't know how they could just retreat such a tiny, tiny bit out of Chattanooga and sit here in the middle of nowhere and be in pretty good shape, it seems. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if, if, if it's an assault or an, a meeting engagement again. They shouldn't have a lot of uh, uh, engineering points because the, the first battle was on. Maybe it was. Yeah, about a week ago, a bit more than a week. Control, hotkey, control. Create a route with multiple waypoints by pressing hold and control while using the right mouse button. I did not know that. Control, right mouse. We're we gonna use that a lot. I've been whining in about how hard it is to move individual units with waypoints. Okay, that's, uh, I think I've think I known it before and forgotten it. Uh, it does ring familiar. Now, Knipe is up to 90,000 men here, it says. Uh, but their army, their, their enemy army is green and the morale is reported to be stable. Stable doesn't sound really great. And their supply situation, of course, is outstanding. Well, maybe they, they brought supplies from Chattanooga. I suppose if you, if you garrison Chattanooga for months as a defender... Wait, are we defending? Oh, Jesus game. Uh, why would you allow me to defend with 27 engineering points? I... Uh, yeah. That's just stupid. Uh, that's just... Whew. Not good cavalry train here at all mm, but that's not the army I was looking for I was looking for the Georgia Corps here which is I think our most green how the hell I did assault yeah uh, whatever they have a hundred thousand more troops than I do and and still better economy than what I do so I don't feel I don't feel West Virginia Corps, you defend on the left. It has a pillow with the Georgia Corps. Huh. That is so weird. 
Pillow has 9,000 men. Okay. All right, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the two cores are, the West Virginia core is 17,000, so it's much stronger. Okay, maybe we can move over the West Virginians to the other side of the river. I think we'll do that. Hmm. Um. Okay. That's my cats. That's how they roll. Um, yeah. All right. So I definitely want these guys in line. And I'm going to put them up here against the river line. And Gary, Gary's division? Yeah, OK. It's a bit confusing to me why you are called Gary. Uh, but I think it's a single. So we're going to put them in. They are in line now. OK, good. There we go. The West Virginians. I suppose I have to put them on the river here and uh, the third Georgia. These are elite. I don't want to fight. I just want to save these troops for a rainy day. What's this? That's the core commander. And uh, here's the here's the cavalry. All oh, right, I forgot. We, we outnumbered them so heavily. Where's where's good cavalry? There's there's forest everywhere. I'll put them in a second line here as a reserve. And Buford has the rookies. <gasps> Look at Adams. They are unstable. Oh. Yeah, because he committed suicide in the last battle we fought. Very bad. So my plan here is to let the uh, 3rd Georgia Division sit back in reserve. Let the uh, West Virginians defend this uh, crossing here. Oh, oh yeah, so they, they're, they're going to defend one victory location. The 2nd Georgia Division is defending the Jace Mill here. And what's this? Yeah. And I'm not going to build fortifications because it feels uh, unrealistic. I'll build breastworks as soon as we start playing. I'm not going to suicide my uh, artillery, however, just because the line setup is weird. Weird. Okay, here we go. Yeah, same here. Uh, the okay. Oh, there we go. So let's start the battle, and let's build some breastworks here and some. Here, maybe. And it's retreating. 
That's a good thing I wasted. Okay. Yeah, of course they are. I should, should probably have put this on auto resolve. Uh, Uh, no losses, but this should hurt the combat experience and morale of the Union. It's a minor victory, of course it is. 12th of October, that's when, that's the date uh, Columbus discovered America, that's what they say. No, no morale, no experience. But hopefully we can drive the, the invading Union army back a bit further now, this time. Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Von Hindenburg. Ramses von Hindenburg. He agrees. We uh, got 1300 enemy soldiers taken to a prisoner camp, so that's good. So they didn't get away, uh, that's not a good battle to lose. They lost 1300 troops. Nice, nice. Yeah, 3200 casualties, 20, down to 23,000. Okay, I'm sorry that's a really boring uh, battle to uh, stream, of course. And they are retreating southwards. I wonder if I could would I risk? I mean, I. C uh, yes, yes, I agree. You're, you're entire. You're totally right. Yes, I agree. I see. What I want to do is, I'm when I move over. The th there is another Georgian Corps up in Tennessee. I wanna. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna bother with that now, I suppose. <sighs> but do I need to pursue this with this entire army here? Uh, it's a pretty huge army. If I can find it, it's called. Army of Georgia, 30,000. Do I need 30,000 to pursue 23,000? I suppose so. But we, maybe should we send the Kentucky Cavalry? No, I want to use the Kentucky Cavalry to pursue. Um, the West Virginians are going to uh, pursue down along the road here. Thomas Cavalry retreating. I don't know where they're going, they're going south. They're slipping away, they're suffering some casualties. The Army of Georgia, I'm gonna send the Georgian Corps after them, down here. And we're also gonna send the Army Headquarters to the same location. Because they don't stack. I'm not gonna use uh, our cavalry. They, they're they're in good shape already. Okay, I think I need to do some... Uh, I want to move the Georgians under Little. The 3rd Georgia Division. It's, uh, it's elite. 3 stars, 4 stars and 3 stars. Met with Mississippi Rifles. So they're really good. Uh, but I'm gonna move them into uh, the Georgia Corps here, uh, 3rd Georgia Division. And since they're in the same location, it shouldn't take a long time, at the most one day, to transfer them. And the West Virginia Corps now is rather small. It's down to 9,000 men, but I, I, I think I'm gonna transfer this corps to another army. Or maybe even... Fuck... Okay... If I transfer that back here, no. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I think you can magically teleport divisions, but not cores. Now, when I even though I just made a back and forth switch, it's just gonna take a day for them to. That's fine. I think I'm gonna send the West Virginians north. 
I think I'm gonna transfer them to Lee's army. Army of Northern Virginia. Uh, we have only two core up here. We got first core, 12,000 men, and we got third core, 10,000 men. So it really doesn't matter. Oh, and we also have, nah, okay. I suppose we reinforce first core with the uh, West Virginians. No, wait. Do I have? I think. Sorry, the interface is a bit hard to. First core consists of uh, West Virginians, I believe. Virginians, not West Virginians. Maybe you should be able to color code. Uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter, but we're gonna give it to the third core. That's what we're gonna do. Because they have all the Alabama, Mississippi sharpshooters, and I'm not sure I wanna keep them in this theater of war. And if I have the West Virginians in the third core, I could transfer second division out somewhere else at another time. They're very elite, like the best in the entire army. Now that's gonna take 15 days. I'm good, I'm fine with that. And. Yep, West Virginians went back to really re free up Chattanooga and now they're going back north again. Oh, they Chattooga is on. It, it says it's Confederate, but the color is blue. That is confusing to me. Okay. Um, I, I think I'm going to use the, the cavalry here as well. Now when I sent away the West Virginians. Sounds like a good plan. So unless they assault Lee within two weeks in at Manassas, we're gonna get reinforcements up there. That's not that's good. And Thomas Cavalry, there, it is an, it, there's an engagement here. The Kentucky Cavalry Corps is broken. It has units with Lomar, of course it does. We're gonna fight this battle, and I hope it's gonna be more exciting than the last one. Who knows? We have one core less now, so maybe the AI is a bit... I probably, sh maybe I should have auto-resolved it, but I don't like auto-resolving. We have 17,000 men. What about the, the Union? Are we outnumbered now? Yeah, we're outnumbered. So, somehow... I don't understand this. Uh, oh yeah, of course, one core is in limbo because it I, I did that back and forth maneuver hmm interesting well at least i think we can get the union to fight this way uh i think it's gonna be okay it is good they're not outnumbering us more than six thousand two brigades that's nothing okay so we and we are attacking this time Okay. Sure. Um. Uh, Horseshoe Ridge. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. So what I should have done is I should have agreed to a siege for a while. I wonder if I have reinforcements coming. Um, this is going to be super boring, but in one day, uh, we're going to have another core available for, I think. So, Army of Georgia, yes, you can set up. In, they are in March Con. I, I hate offensive battles. Oh, and it's in, in, the, w in the wilderness. Hmm. So if 
I do Army of Georgia is really small. We're not we're in no hurry here to fight, really. Uh, we wanna delay this battle one day. Incredibly boring, I know, but it would be really stupid to uh, attack them under these circumstances. So I'm just going to advance and uh, okay, here we go. Where where we going? We're going across. Oh, Jesus, the terrain here. Look, oh, they're up here on this mountain, Horseshoe Ridge. Okay. Terribly sorry. So what we could do is we could, if we could get these le the leader up here, uh, I'm gonna ask this Georgia division to march all the way. Huh? Where? I I'll, I'll all the way up here. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. This is the setup phase. I, 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 I say we, I really apologize. That was very stupid. Why aren't, why aren't you in marching columns anymore? They decided to go back to uh, line formation. Okay. Before you give orders, you have to start the battle, of course. That's my bad. Mm, second Georgia division. Move across this river up here. Double speed. The, you should probably fast forward in this stream uh, until there is a battle because this is going to be mega boring. Are they moving? Army or Georgia? You know, maybe I could move the entire army. I don't know if you're aware what what happened, but I moved in the interface of the army. I moved one division back and forth, and that put it into limbo, it's transferring. So it's not in this battle this day. It's kind of unfortunate. I, I, I mean, they were they, they were sitting right next, I gave them order to walk to the same place, so. And I've seen them be able to transfer in the, no, that's enough, uh, in the organizational uh, schedule without any delay. This time, no, it didn't work. Seems to be a bit random there. I think my, my cat doesn't want me to play the game. He wants me to play with him instead. Oh. Yeah, that's what he wants. Um, oh yeah, we have Gary's division here. I'll put them into marching line and have them move up behind here. Can be quite a persistent little bugger. They are in marching column, the cavalry. Uh, I suppose I could march them across the river. Kind of. Here we go. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. It's gonna be a two day battle. I am not gonna attack without. Uh, that missing division or core or whatever it is the, the third I sent the West Virginians to Lee in the north I know that but Georgia core you can advance a bit more I suppose hmm 
Got a bit of a clusterfuck here with the cavalry. Bit of a clusterfuck. Oh, this is not. Hmm. Yeah. I tried to drag him out, but I also tried not to use individual unit movement because it's extremely boring. But often, in my experience, it's a really bad idea to move entire formations. But I'm thinking maybe they can rest up during the afternoon and during tomorrow the night. That's enough. Go out and play. Play with your little brother. Hmm. Guess the cavalry is kind of moving here. Um, can I move up the army to maybe here. And. Georgia Corps has order to advance. I think we have Gary's division is like they have not oh, okay. So the entire army should be moving. I'll try to go up to speed 10. So far, so good. But I, I suppose if that they're reinforcing, reinforcing units, they're gonna end up up here, back here. That's annoying. I, I yell. F of course, I should have. I suppose I should not have engaged. Now I. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. And the mistake was arranging my OOB. Interfacing with the game is a mistake. Don't do that. That's my best advice to you. Don't interface. Don't don't interface with the game at all. That's the best way to play the game. Cause uh, it's gonna screw you. Big time. Hmm. All right, we're gonna take your army of Georgia and. Gonna move them um, down towards the victory location here. I don't know if we could move up to the right or if we should move. You know, I think that's a pretty good idea to. There isn't. You, what you can do is formation march columns. Can you also give them order to go in successive lines? Let's see. No. It's either march I, mean, I was thinking like successive lines and march columns. Oh, look, he did something on his own initiative here now. That's cool. But it's also very bad because I didn't want him to do it. So it isn't cool. Uh, I was thinking you could give him an order to not stand side by side in marching columns, but have him in a marching column long line like when you want to walk down, march down the road, but it doesn't seem like you're able to do that. Not with the formation orders, obviously. Let's try the new control order. Uh, we're gonna halt the army of Georgia. Okay, they halted. No, he gave him the same. No, now they halted. All right, and we're gonna take the eighth Georgia here. We are gonna march them. Can actually see the difference in size of the roads. I'm using control movement. Okay, and then I'm using control movement. And then I'm using control movement. So that that works. Uh, they are now marching to three different locations. Tenth Georgia. I do the same with them. Control. Control and control. 
It's, 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 I mean, it, do you think I want to do this? What happens if I just march them up here? That works as well. No control. Okay. Artillery. I have to say, it's one of the most painful. It's, it's one of the most painful games. You, you, you probably ask yourself, why are you playing this? And and, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's extremely painful to play. This is in no way amusing. I mean, it's. Just, mm. It's a good idea. Like. You can order entire formation to, to move, but it doesn't work. That's a problem. Uh, this artillery is now fragmented. Unit cohesion suffers. They're tired. Uh, their training is poor. And The problem is if you micromanage everything, which is extremely annoying to have to do, it works. If you use the the if you play the game the way it's intended to be played ordering large formation so often does it lose you the battle i guess i'm okay now screwing up my forces because i don't think the union's going to counterattack me they're just going to sit on the victory location And I, I find it really bothersome that the symbols disappear and reappear. And I'm like, I, I get a vague idea where my army is, but it, it's just, um, it takes a lot of energy. It's um, high maintenance, very high maintenance. It's not pleasant. Like, could, maybe I could color code my armies, of course. So and everything is not not red. How about that for for starter? Uh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe I should probably have withdrawn from this combat uh, battle. I, I, uh, I How far is it to the objective? Maybe they could have had an, a little bit larger picture location with another color. I mean, it's possible to find it. It's just that it, it's extremely annoying. You have to look for it. Give me a second here, excuse me. I need to open up for my cat so they go out. Oh, cats! Cat might be outside. Oh, speed 10. I think I'm leading the cavalry here. 
I could use the artillery, but it's not going to be possible. This is a horrible defensive terrain. So it's good for the Union, I mean. Um, So maybe, oh, okay, look, they have, they are fragmented, they're so exhausted. So I'm just going to let them wait here. Look, look at their shape, fragmented, fatigue exhausted, that recovers, that's from marching. But a cohesion fragmented, that's from being mixed up with other formations. And I'm not even sure that's going to fix itself on to, for tomorrow, for the next battle. So that's unfortunate. It seems like you don't rest up during the night. It's kind of weird. What I can do maybe is kind of uh, separate the units here a bit, so they don't don't stand on top of each other and mix up. But yeah, it is it is challenging. The infantry seems to be in good condition. I, apparently, I didn't march them on top of each other somehow, but they are. Uh, Okay, this one is in good shape. Disrupted, fragmented, exhausted. Let's see how long time. It's five o'clock in the evening. Let's see if these guys, 13th artillery, if they can ever rest up. Yeah, I think these guys rested up. They're disrupted still. See, cohesion is really hard to repair. Um, Disrupt, uh, yeah, not very tired. Okay, failing cohesion. Okay, they are actually, what would you say, call it repairing or, or resting up and reorganizing. It takes a long time, but it's fine. We're running times 10. Hopefully, next tomorrow we, we get reinforcements and uh, we're not cut off. There is an entrance point here that is white. Maybe, hmm, maybe I could capture that with cavalry. Let's do that. Uh, Let's say send down Adam's regiment down here. They're only determined morale. That's not very good. 86%. Huh. Okay. 85%. Eager. That is work. No, eager is better than determined. Okay, but these guys are unex inexperienced troops. They're only determined. Well, the Union Army was stable, correct? And now we're now we're rested. Yeah, it doesn't make for good uh, streaming material when you have to march all over the place like I've been doing. I'm so, sorry about that, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose a battle just because. Uh, I made a mistake. Next day is fighting. The battle ends at seven o'clock because we're in October. That's a nice feature that uh, the day's getting shorter. Now we're getting resupplied and deployment. Okay, we have fewer engineering points, only seven now. Mm, I think I think we're not gonna get those the troops. Um, Let's see if we can f see in the HQ. Horseshoe Ridge, that's the only victory location. Um, we have... Uh, Hardy has fought 21 battles. And Knipe, three of them. Oh, you can see their stats here. Hmm. Now, it would appear, if you look here, that our division that I transferred from one core to another back and forth, and it, was set, it said one day before they would reappear on the map, they grayed out, so they're in limbo, they're off map somehow. It, it would appear that it's not possible for such troops to reinforce because there is no re reinforcement schedule of them ever coming online. It has been a day. It is the next day. It is the 16th of October. So or actually 17th of October. So they ought to come, but I suppose they can only get online on map 
outside of a tactical battle. So it was an extreme mistake of my mind to uh, uh, initiate this battle without waiting. Well, I, uh, I, 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 can't, I can't take it. I, it's just, uh, it's so thoroughly annoying for me that just how broken the game is. So um, I think you need to, you need to start the game, and then you withdraw. Bye bye, retreat, and um, hmm, retreat. Four minutes, see what happens. Mm. How many prisoners did we lose? It's 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 the the game defeats me because of how no, how annoying it is to play. We lost three and the enemy lost two hundred and fifty men, that's weird. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so let's see. very weird uh, how they lost more troops than we did but fine I wouldn't be surprised if that disappeared core is here now I think it is uh, yeah it's back online But also, note is very how I can't I can't access these troops uh, quite yet. If I click in the ledger, I don't get. It's not possible to check them out. Like here, you can see I could go man to manage army on all other, but when I c you come out from a recent battle, it's not possible. Uh, yeah, can't do anything. There, there's still some sort of battle going on. So I'd like to give orders, but I can't. So, okay, here we go. And ah, uh, they're retreating. Of course, they're retreating. Okay. But at least now we can uh, examine Army of Georgia. And as you can see, the entire army is here. Uh, all. Uh, I, I don't know why Gary's division. It used to be called First Georgia Division, but somehow when I exchanged the division leader, it renamed itself. So that's uh, annoying. Uh, so we got the first, second, first, and third. At least I think uh, maybe I should call this the fourth. Second, third, and fourth. I don't know. I. Uh, it's really hard for me to know what I should name it when it renames itself. 
First, this should be the first Georgia chord. But now we have, apparently we have two. I mean, that's what I want. I want two Georgia chords. This is no longer the West Virginia core. It's the second Georgia core. Yes, they're quite small. Can't write. Uh, but I, I do have, you see, in the Army of Tennessee, this is the plan. In the Army of Tennessee, we have an entire sixth Georgia core with 14th and 15th Georgia division. So that's 12,000 more Georgians. So I want to join these these troops up somehow, make a full Georgian army. Why? I I, I don't know. Um, leave me alone. We're gonna engage again, uh, and after we retreated, I suppose. Hmm. I should probably put the cavalry corps under. I, I should I should make up my mind which army should lead this battle. Either Magruder, but they're both very good, so it doesn't matter who leads the. Uh, um, Stevenson and Pillow are at destination. Uh, there we go. We can now attack again, and this time. I hope to uh, catch the enemy without making a mistake. I'm gonna send down the cavalry corps as well to the exact same location. I mean, I don't know how you uh, coordinate full army attack, multiple core army attacks. I have no idea. So, there, I sent all five units down there. Deploy to defend. Let's do that. I'm, I want to try this out. What? Deploy to defend. Okay, and, and if you defend, it's a siege. But I want this guy. Can he move? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh. oh, they're moving. I'd like them to move so they're in the same location. Well, they are moving. Okay. But then they get stuck in... He's still moving. Okay. I think that's good enough. I think we can now attack. Yeah. Ninety to ten, but according to uh, oh, Richmond is under siege as well. I think we need to check that out. But the Chattooga has sixty-three percent chance of victory, whatever that means. But <sighs> Battle of Chattooga. Okay, so Richmond, <clears throat> how many they sent the AI sent Army of Northeastern Virginia six thousand. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna let them siege, I suppose. But here we're gonna assault. Assault. 
Let's see if it's. I hope. I hope I get to attack. Not because it's good, but because but that's just realistic. That's the way the game should work. I am the one who pressed assault. I am the one chasing a defending army. Although I had this army retreat twice already. Commanders under the attack stance will independently move their units to engage encountered enemies. Depending on the number and quality of troops, as well as the commander's cunning, they may try to a direct attack or send brigades to flank the enemy line. That should be in tactical battles, I believe, if they are under attack stance. Yes. Uh, ah, I'm, I'm, I mean, under, under very good circumstances, maybe I should try to use certain AI stances. And I'm defending. This is just this is so retarded. <sighs> this is not how I want to. It's unfair. It's just. Is it ran? Is it just random? I I pursued. I was the one who pursued the Union army. They defended, and now I wanted to engage them. I should be with the one attacking. It's just fucking ridiculous. And you know what? They're gonna retreat off the map. They're not gonna fight me. Because they're outnumbered. I'm just gonna try to throw up some sort of line and then we're gonna see what happens here. Double speed. Oh, I guess the enemy isn't. They're not. Oh, they're gonna fight? No, they're retreating. So, like, instead of giving them the defensive, I, it's just. I'm sorry to say it, but they said it's patch 109 now, so they have had nine major patches. They're not going to introduce new uh, features in new patches, and that's good. There's enough features in the game. They have very nice selection of features. It's just that so many of them don't work at all. And if they do work, you don't understand what's going on. Uh, it's called kind of all black magic. Black voodoo. Am I supposed to auto resolve these battles where I va that I, where I barely outnumber the enemy? Because you don't want to do this. You don't want to set up about. Imagine if I had built fortresses and micromanagement there, and I just knew this was gonna happen. But it's again. It just feels like a bad feature, badly implemented. Oof. Just get out of uh, Georgia. I'm gonna try to send the Cavalry Corps ahead. Uh, see if I can intercept them. I'm sorry for being so pissy about the game, but I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm trying to make it make a nice streaming uh, series, and oh, yeah, that doesn't work very well. I can tell you that. Every time I give an order, the game on pauses. It's a setting, but the problem is sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't unpause, and sometimes it unpauses. Uh, 
Army in Northern Virginia retreating in panic. That's not good. The enemy suffered 5,000 losses. And we suffered four, almost the same, 4,500 losses. That is really bad. I need to check out Army in Northern Virginia. That's my f the first siege I lost. But, I mean... They should have the Northern Virginians... Sorry, West Virginians. Here now. Well, they're only here nominally. It's still 11 days before they arrive, but they're still included in the in the army strength. Okay. And it seems they they in their infinite wisdom decided to retreat up to Winchester. We're now going to lose the Manassas Junction Depot. Well, maybe the north won't uh uh, destroy it so and we can recapture it. I guess that leaves the road to Richmond open. I'm, I'm tilting so hard that I'm, I'm about I don't care. It's like yeah, we just lost the siege whatever. I probably could have defeated these guys in a field battle Yeah, that's a good way to d d retreat. Retreat up into Shenandoah. Yeah, you should do that. You should do that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna call it quits here. I, I recommend you wait playing this game uh, until it, it has a feature fix. It's, uh, it's not good. See you in the next one.